Roy Jones, uh, Stephen Graham, Care Warrior Sports are here with the legendary Roy Jones, man. Uh, just want to get your take. What, what did you see uh, last Saturday night, man, with uh, Will Spence and Terrence Crawford? Man, what I saw last Saturday was a guy who's truthfully too technically inclined to be matched by a guy that fights, that's used to fight one way. So, it's like people think, you hate on people. I don't hate nobody. I love all fighters. But the point of the matter is that if I see a guy that can change and fight this way, can fight that way, can fight that way, can fight that way, then he gonna have my he gonna have my proof right away. As for beating most people, right? But if I see him fight a guy who only fights this way, if he can take the punch, this dude is in trouble. So only I didn't go bet like I like to bet if I really wanted to bet was because, like I say, he is fighting a guy who's bigger. Earl was bigger, so my only question was. Can Terrence take Earl punch? Because, and I figured he probably could. I really didn't think Earl gonna really get to hit him that much. But Earl shot me, Earl hit him one time, good early. Terrence needs him, but Terrence dropped Earl with a jab. Fight over. So it's like, I can't take nothing away from neither fighter because Earl did sit him up and hit him better than I thought he would, right? That's That was a good thing. So he got the shot that I thought he would need to change the fight, he just didn't change the fight. But at the same time, I don't feel like Earl is as equipped as he was early in his career because getting thrown from that car at over 100 miles an hour, gotta take something out of you. I don't care what nobody says. That's not making an excuse for Bud. I mean, that's not taking nothing away from Bud. That's not making an excuse for Earl. But the fact of the matter is that he wasn't bad and he kept coming, he gained, but your body can't be the same after getting thrown out of a car in excess of 100 miles. I don't care what nobody tells That's just what it was. Did you feel you got like some slack for your prediction or what you said afterwards or something like that? It sounded like you were kind of trying no, to defend yourself. Got, no, no, no. I had got flat, flat before. Because oh. like I said it before. Mm -hmm. I said, I watched this dude grow up on HBO. I know what this dude can do. I ain't never seen this dude do what I seen this dude do. So Dallas, some, not the whole Dallas, but some people in Dallas start saying this, that, and the other day. And Earl, I saw him one time at a fight in Dallas. I want to shake your hands. Nah, I ain't shake your hand. Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? So then that, that another guy told me, said, yeah, you used to be his favorite fighter, but when you said you thought Bud could beat him, he didn't like that. Okay, I understand that. But the fact of the matter, you should have asked me, why do I think Bud can beat you? You should have asked me, what can you do to help maybe bring you closer? Because I would have told you, because that's just who I am. You understand me? But I watched Bud grow up on HBO. I know what Bud can do. Bud's first fight on HBO, they were not really to realize. All Earl fights that Earl had to have, Earl was expected to win them. Bud's first fight on HBO, he came for Brady Press Prescott, who had just knocked out Amir Khan. He was not supposed to beat Brady's. You understand me? I've been watching Bud prove himself since way back then. So even if y'all got common opponents, you beat your common opponents the same way. He couldn't beat them the same way. He had to do different things to beat them. He probably could have beat them the same, but that's not how he fights. He fights from a multi-virtual step, multi-dimensional step. He don't fight you one way. He keep chaining up so you can't catch on what he's doing, which is a small thing. So my simple comment was that I've seen him more than I've seen him. I've seen him change clothes when I see him change clothes. If they fight, I know he can change clothes. Change clothes. I don't know that he can change clothes. And as we saw, he couldn't change clothes. Okay, that's, that's and it's even worse now because now you had an accident where he got thrown from a car doing an excess of 120 miles an hour. So you definitely not gonna be a change clothes. That's all that was. There's no hate, it's just the fact. What, what do you think about guys like Stephen A. Smith? I believe he came on and kind of said that, you know, Earl should retire. It was that bad of a, a, a beating. I mean, it seems a little, seems drastic. Well, I'm not going to say Earl should retire because even after the accident, he had two good wins against uh, Ugas and I think Garcia, one of them, but uh, maybe have been Gar Danny Garcia, I think. But anyway, Danny Garcia and Danny those, Garcia. those two wins, he still was Earl. You know, he still pushed the issue and he still was Earl. So it was he push the issue and he's still Earl. If he go to 54, if he can do that same thing, it's possible he still can become champ at 154. One problem he gonna have is the same problem he had Saturday. If he runs into a boxer with quick switch punches, it's gonna become an issue because you gotta change your clothes. If you can't change your clothes, you're not gonna beat him.
Just uh, real quick, Jermel moving up undisputed at 54, moving up to uh, 168. Just how do, how do you think he does against Canelo? What does he have to do to to defeat a Canelo? Just gotta change the game, change the landscape. I mean, Canelo it ain't like it ain't like he had a super disadvantage because Canelo did the same thing. He just went 61st, then went 60, then he went 75. So if he went 54 to 75, why you can't? Just matter how you do it, but. You do have to take some technique in the ring against Canelo. You can't go in and beat Canelo as a strength and conditioning guy. You got to take some technique, which you can't just do it on pressure and strength and conditioning. That's what kind of happened this weekend. You saw a guy who's a pressure fighter with strength and conditioning fight a guy who can box that also knew how to pressure. You understand me? It's a little bit different when boxing skills come to play. So that's when I want to get your take on my Caleb Plant and Jamal Charlo had a little that's, altercation. That's, 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 that's a good fight. I get the head. I'd be a great fight to see, but I don't think right now it's the time for that fight. It would be good if they did have it, but right now it's not the time for it. Does, does the slap situation affect how the fight plays out, no. in, in your opinion? No, not at all. Not at all. Because the slap situation was kind of a. You can't let a man disrespect you. A man disrespect you, you got to do something. At least he didn't punch me, just that. So that don't mean nothing. But he showed that, you know, disrespect. Because the kid, and from what I understand, the guy was disrespecting him. You touch my beard, I'm going to put your hand in my damn face. You know what I mean? So if you touch my face, expect me to touch it. If I don't, there's something wrong with you. So, like you said, like two legend, yes sir. Thank you so much, Roy. Best of luck uh, this weekend, man. Who do you, you got uh, fighting got, this weekend? Got Kevin Newman fighting this weekend, trying to see, trying to get Kevin Newman to come out and beat Kevin Newman, you know? Like I told you, you like an egg in the incubator, nobody been able to hatch you. So I'm trying to see if I can get you the hatch. If I get you the hatch, we got something special. If I can't get you the hatch, then. <laughs> That's how's he looking? He looking like he's about, about to hatch? He's about to hatch. He's about to hatch. I ain't going to lie to you. It's the first time in training camp that he really looked like he might be about to hatch. Now, if he does what he did in training camp, we see what I want to see. If he don't do that, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. The legend. Thank, thank you, you so man. much. Right. I, I think time. he's going to do it, though, because it's the first time I've even seen him in training camp like this. So I'm looking forward to it. Is he, is he going to have that kind of well, Roy Jones style the way that Chris Eubank Roy, came out that one time? It's just... not the Roy Jones style. It's just the doing, being capable. Roy Jones give you more tools inside of your envelope. Roy Jones don't tell you to do what Roy Jones do. He opens your envelope so you can do whatever you need or whatever you want to do. So if you want to make it look kind of Roy Jones-ish, it probably could. But it's not what Roy Jones does. It's what Roy wants you to do. So it's never, I never try to make Chris Eubank proud of Roy Jones. I just show Chris Eubank other ways to do things. You understand me? Well, I can't wait to see you, brother. Thank you so much for your time, brother. Appreciate you.